The newly elected international president of the Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship International, Francis also says it is high time Christians become responsible and practice what they profess. According to him, if all 60% of Ghanaians who profess Christianity practice the tenets of the faith, which includes integrity, Ghana will develop. He's speaking in a meeting to welcome him after his election in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The Four Gospel Businessmen Fellowship International first launched in Ghana on the 9th of February 1977. Formally incorporated on 29th October 1984, it is the world's largest Christian businessmen's organization, networking thousands of members in more than 85 nations. When they just ended international directors' meeting in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, a Ghanaian, Francis Owusu, was elected the fourth international president of the fellowship, becoming the first African to hold the position. Speaking at a welcome ceremony in his honor by members of the organization here in Ghana, Mr. Owusu expressed gratitude to God for the honor done him. First of all, what I want to say is that I'm greatly humbled by this reception. But I want to give glory to God because it is only he who could have done what has been achieved. Indeed, indeed the battle is the Lord's. I went to Kuala Lumpur and I knew it was only God who could get me through because the majority of votes were non-African. But to the glory of God, many people in the other regions said that anytime they prayed, they saw my name on my face. This shows that the God we serve is truly alive. And he has decided that this is the time for Africa to have its turn in this international presidency. And not just its turn, but for a purpose. Because of what he's about to do. He also called on Christians to practice the tenets of the Christian faith instead of complaining. Yes, definitely. Now, the time, there is an agency. So we should all put our hands to the wheel and double our efforts, especially in the marketplace where we belong. We are marketplace outreach. And we should make sure that the lives that we lead reflect the gospel that we preach. We should be shining stars. We shouldn't just uh, sort of uh, just talk the gospel, but we should walk the talk. Uh, this country is supposed to be majority Christian, so you cannot say uh, cor corruption is just with politicians. It's with each and every one of us. We should change our ways and stop pointing fingers. Judgment starts in the body of Christ. If we live right, majority will live right and things will move right. Commenting on the current economic situation in the country, he indicated it is obvious human efforts have failed. Hence the need for us to turn to God in prayer. As we all know, crisis is not only confined to Ghana. Uh, the whole world is in a crisis. And at this time, God is presenting Jesus as the only hope come out of any major crisis because we've realized that human institutions fail. They are fallible. So God is giving us hope that once we put our trust in him, he himself will order our steps and take us out of any crisis that we are currently facing. There is power in prayer when people gather and they see God's face, humble themselves, repent, and for, sort of uh, ask for forgiveness, God will heal our land.